the philosophy of, of them being behind their shoulders. Uh-huh. Because uh, horses all want to want to face up. They they want they just want to do that because they're hiding their body behind their shoulder. Yeah. Dennis here with Capital Training Cheering, and we got Daniel Ga How can they Gallegos. Gallegos. I, yeah, you I, got I it. Don't spell that one. It's G A L L E G O S. <laughs> Gallegos. Gallegos. The double L sounds like Y. Oh, That's why. I see, in Spanish. I see. Yeah. So. Well, we're getting a Spanish lesson here this morning too. Daniel is probably, I think, one of the best polo players that I know of, and uh, you know, and, and he's. I'm the only one she knows. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. He dropped off a couple of thoroughbreds here this morning for us to work with. Can you tell us a little bit about these, Daniel? Yeah, this is a, a, a Gilden, three-year-old. And then we have a, a mare, three-year-old also. Uh, the day has been like, been handled, you know, like, brushing, touching. We put the saddle on a couple times and roll a couple times and all that stuff. So, so I need, I need Dennis to put the magic touch and over then, here and put some handle and everything to, to make it easy for me to start to stick and ball them and stuff like that, so. Have they been ridden? Yeah, they yeah. Have been we ridden? put this out before, yeah, they've been ridden before, okay. so. How much riding have they had? Uh, I think they've both been on their saddle like three or four times. Yeah. But, yeah. but they've never been raced then? they never been raced, no, yeah. no, no, no. They never, they're, never race. They're nice size horses. Yeah. They're not so big. No, no, no. I like, you know, I, yeah. I try and try to go to the small, small yeah. size, like fitting one, fitting. You know, I think they three year old. By the time they finish growing, I think they must be like fitting one, fitting two. Yeah. So that's a perfect size for uh for polo. Sure. Yeah. Uh, let me change halters here. Yeah, Dennis, yeah. Wh whatever you want to do, I, uh, Dennis. I can't keep track of whose halters is who, and, and uh, so I'll put mine on send yours home with you. <laughs> So Daniel, can you tell us what you've been doing this summer so far? Well, we've been this summer, we've been playing some practices and we got some new people in the San Luis Polo Club. We've been uh, uh, practicing and I've been having training more young horses that I got from the rice track. And, uh, and we've been playing practice three times a week. As a matter of fact, we played last night you know, in, uh, in San Luis, and we, we, we shouldn't to play tomorrow morning since it's too hot in the afternoon. We're gonna switch it to early in the morning, maybe like 10 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, but uh, yeah, we've been, we've been uh, working on, on, on the polo, and you know, we're getting ready to have a tournament uh, first week of August. We're gonna have a USPA uh, tournament, which is, is organized from the United States Polo Association. And uh, we're gonna be playing here in San Luis. So I think we got four teams so far already formed to compete, and we see what, what how how things goes there. But uh, yeah, I think it should be fun. Will that be open? I mean, is that where the public can go watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public can go watch over there. I think they're gonna be playing in uh, over there in Ledoux, over there in uh, Orwins Field, you know, right off of Limber Boulevard, and I believe might be playing over there in Chesterfield. Uh, Maggie's Field, which is over there in uh, in the valley, uh, right off of Wild Horse Creek Road. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first week of August. First week of August. I think that be the weekend of the fourth to the fifth. What is the total? The to the fifth. That be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Do you get most of your horses off the track? Yes. Yeah. Most of my horses, these ones come from the from the rice track, and. Uh, like that, man, these two never raced before, you know, they're just too small for the trainers, that's what they told me. And, uh, and I like the size, you know, I like a small horse yeah. for the... Uh, yeah. Would you mind telling me what you look for in a polo pony? Well, in a polo pony, I want to make sure they, they little, they short, you know, they short couple, they have a nice shoulder, nice hip, and, uh, and be sure they have a nice chest, you know, and... Uh, uh, and then just, I guess, when they got that kind of confirmation, pretty much, they got good balance. And that's what we're looking for, you know. Someone does, someone doesn't. Someone's a very nice build, but sometimes they don't have the ability to do the polo thing, so, you know. Uh, What's a good age for a polo pony, or does it matter? It doesn't matter. Every horse is different. You know, some horses, like, I got a four-year-old at home already playing. She's already in the polo field and doing everything, and she's doing fantastic. 
And, uh, and I got some other ones, they, at the early age, they go right into the game and, uh, and start playing. By the time they play in like five, six years old, they already competing like in Wellington, Florida or something like that, in, nice. the, in the high gold polo. Yeah. Because you go to Florida in the winter, don't you? Yeah, I, pretty much every winter I go, I go to Florida, yeah. It's when I take some of these courses to train over there and, and try to finish it and, and try to spoil them to the, to the big, um, to the big uh, you know, with the big players and the good players over there, you know, youngsters and stuff like that, so. Okay, well, thank you. It looks like we got Dennis and going to start with one here. <laughs> yeah. I had to start with one. <laughs> <laughs> also, no, why did you say? <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one is, hasn't been at your house very long, has she? No, no, she's been for uh, like a month. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got it from the right track. And yeah. you haven't been able to do much with her for a Yeah, month. I just put the saddle on it and rode it in the little, my neighbor's uh, uh, ramp in. Yeah. And that's it. But she don't know how to launch line and stuff like that, no. I, I knew you hadn't handled her much because when I when I was putting the halter on, she just kept taking her nose and pushing me away and really? and and pushing on me. Oh, she, she was worse then. He said, "Now she's a little got a little bit uh, a, little a little bit of manners, but yeah, all right. She needs more." Right. First thing I do with them is is get them away from me and and let her get comfortable out there. I I don't think I've talked to you much about. Um, the philosophy of, of them being behind their shoulders. Uh-huh. Because uh, horses all want to want to face up. They, they, want, they just want to do that because they're hiding their body behind their shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so what I've found is that if I can open them up like this and get that shoulder to move over so you're just not wanting to do it, she wants to keep her hip hid. Yeah. If she'll move that shoulder just a little bit, there. That step right there into freedom, when she stepped there, you see her whole demeanor change, mm -hmm. you know, and she quit, she quit trying to push on me. To push on you, yeah. Yeah, so that's that little switch that flips on, and I know that a lot of times you'll lead several horses at one time from, from the barn to the polo field, won't you? Yeah, 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 and, exactly. And you, and you can't have them things pulling ahead of you, they got to be right beside of you, right? Exactly. So. So I'll use this as a tool, get that shoulder over there, and send her, I want to have the ability to send her around, and she's avoiding by going backwards here, because she didn't understand, there's what I want right there. Now she's looking off to the right a little bit, so I'll help bring her back around to me by keeping, I'm raised up in my body, so I've got energy going towards where my leg would be if I was on her. Exactly. And if she'll if she'll yield that body without me having to touch touch her head, see she needs to go forward there. If she'll yield her body without me touching her head, I'll do that. But if she if she won't, I'll touch her head slightly. See it? the right side of that halter is this part of the halter, she's feeling that, and because of that, if I put just a little bit of pressure there. It'll take that hip away from me, like that. So I'm, I'm gaining the ability to have control of front end and hide end, but you know, here on the yeah, ground. Yeah, gotcha. And so I get forward right there, forward right there. I'm gonna wait until she quits trying to run off. She thought I'd ask a little harder than I needed to, but that's all right, she needs to be able to take a little bit of... Exactly, you need the pressure a little bit. Yeah, to make take it. a little bit of pressure because you're going to be up there swinging mallets around like exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they got to get used to that. But while she's going around, then I'm going to decide that I want to go straight. So I'll step across here and let her go straight. I won't let her get ahead of me, so I'll put a, put a wall out in front of her right now with this flag. She's running through that wall there. Now she quit running through it and started thinking. So I'll ask her to go forward again. She just didn't understand what I wanted. That's okay. That's good. Then I also want the ability to have her go to the right 
when I'm on this left side. Here, just run through me when I when I mm -hmm. ask her to go to the right. I'm just I'm just creating a wall with this flag, a wall of energy here that she can't go through, and I want her to step her front end away from me. You're just pushing on me with her shoulder. <laughs> Running them through me. Mm -hmm. Just waiting on her to find what I want here. There. 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 Create a wall right there. There. She's still pushing on me right here in the shoulder. If you were on her, you would feel her on your left leg right now. So I'm gonna create She gotta move her feet when I ask her to move her feet. She can't just stand there uh -huh. and not move her feet. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the left. Now I'm gonna go straight. I don't mind that she stopped, but but when she stopped, she chested into me. I gotta get that shoulder off of me. There. And then we can go straight on. If she stops, I'll just bring energy back here where my left leg would be until I get forward. Now I'm gonna come left, straight, right. Pushing on me. That's why her head comes up like that because she's, she's pushing on this boundary that uh -huh. I'm bringing to her, all she's got to do is step away from it and, that, and she's going to find freedom. But she's chosen, like all of them do in the beginning, when they don't understand, to push into that boundary. There. There. See her head come down as she yielded to me? Uh-huh. There. Now let's go straight. Let's go left. Let's go straight. Come on. Come on. Now let's go right. There we go. When she stepped away, her head came down, she got real relaxed. So this is my <laughs> my beginning stages with all yeah. of them. And I'll do that on both sides. And then you get left, right, and forward all working before you ever ever get on. You got to, yeah. And exactly. it cha changes the whole attitude. Yeah. She's <laughs> smart, huh? Yeah, she's, she's smart. She's, she yeah. figured out. Yeah, she's a nice filly. Is it, have you had her teeth done? Uh, I think they did in the in the in the track. She but I think this one is just like a baby teeth or something. I don't know, like huh. an abscess. I, I noticed that. Yeah, a lot of times what that is is a a cap on the tooth is blocked, and then the tooth starts to grow out down through the jaw. You see? But it, it's unusual for for a three-year-old, no? For so many of them, for on yeah. both sides the on same. Both sides got the same. Yeah, I yeah. noticed that. Yeah. Well, we'll keep an eye on her and see how she, see how she, she is. about the or something, you know. <coughs> but when like took him out. But on a day like today, when it's pretty near 100 degrees and it's real humid, mm -hmm. that's enough for her. Yeah, yeah. You know, just yeah, give yeah, her yeah. a little bit and let her have, yeah. have I, a... I really like these little mares. You look at the, the yeah. confirmation she got. She's very pretty, nice looking. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. All right. Well, let's see what the other one's like yeah. a little bit. 